This is GED teacher Damon Tennant, and in this video, I am going to show you how to find the slope of a line. And I'm showing you this because this is one of the potential pieces of material that you will see on the GED math test. Now, before I get going, I always like to begin all of my videos saying this is not just some one-off video. This is part and parcel of my Get Your GED Now test preparation series. This is a 13 lesson uh, series if you're covering all four tests or a 10 lesson series if you're covering just math that gets you specifically what you need to know to pass the GED test. So this is a pullout of that so you can have an opportunity to see how this program could potentially work for you. With that said, let's jump in. So here we are. And uh, I am just going to draw a graph here. Excuse my writing and penmanship. For some reason, I never really progressed beyond the third grade in terms of my ability to write and draw things, but uh, I'm going to give it a go. So you may be on the GED test. You might be given, you know, a couple of points. Here is one point, and then here is another point, okay? And then... <clears throat> Through these points, run a line. Okay, again, I apologize for my writing. Now, the question uh, could be here is find the slope of this line. And the slope, when you think about slope, it's, you know, how was this line progressing? So this is a point, this is a point, this is a point here, this is another point here, and there are many, 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 many points in between. So you're trying to find out, you know, what's the slope? Um, you know, of these two points that are on this line, okay? And so now what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to show you what the slope formula is. Now, again, I am, my goal here is to just try to break this down. Uh, I'm not trying to give you a classical math lesson. You know, if you, uh, if you were in, you know, maybe seventh or eighth grade math, you know, or ninth grade math, you know, this is a lesson that will be taught to you uh, over some period of, of weeks, and you'll be learning about this. But for the GD, we have a different timeline, don't we? So, again, I am not trying to give you a classic math lesson. I'm just trying to give you some basics of what you need to know to be successful in this test. Okay, so a couple of things you need to know, and maybe you may already know this, but this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis. And on the x-axis, this point is 0, and this is 1, 2, 3, 4, all into infinity. And then this is negative, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. This is positive, 1, 2, 3, 4. This is negative, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, all the way into infinity in either direction on this chart. So, this, so the formula for finding the slope of two points is y2 minus y1 and x2 minus x1. Well, you know, what are x, what is y2 and what is y1 and what is x2 and what is x1? So what you have to do is you have to find what these two points are. So this is the x-axis, so this is 0, then 1, 2, 3. So that first point here is 0, 3. So I'm going to come over here and write that, 0, 3. And then you come over here, and, and this is uh, on the x uh, axis. So in this case, y is negative 3. This will be negative 3. That would be negative 2. That would be negative 1. So in this case, y is, sorry, x is negative 3 because it's on the x-axis. And y over here is 0. So we're going to get negative 3 and then 0. OK, and then we can come over here and determine which one we want to be Y2, which one we want to be Y1. So which one we want to be X2, which one would be X1. So I'm just going to call this X2. So then, of course, this is going to be X1. And I'm going to call this Y2. So, of course, this is going to be Y1. And then from this point, it's just a point of taking these values and plugging them into the formula that we were given. So I'm going to come over here and say M equals Y2. And so this is Y2, so I'm going to plug that in. 3 minus Y1, 0. So I'm going to plug that in. And then uh, X2 is right here, so that's 0. I'm going to plug that in, minus x1, which is right here, minus 3. Now, <clears throat> 3 minus 0, of course, is 3. 
and then um, zero minus a minus three, you change that to a positive, change that, and so that's three. And so the slope is three over three. And then you come over here to the chart and you see that that's true. You know, so we go up three, one, two, three, over three, one, two, three, up three, one, two, three, over three, one, two, three, up three. You know, so you would see that there would be another point there on that line going one, two, three up, one, two, three over, and that would be on that line right here. So that is how you find slope. Um, and so on the GED test, you may be given a question that says, you know, they, give, they show you a graph and give you two points. And then you are instructed to find the slope of that line. And the slope of that line is three over three. Um, and so <clears throat> or, you know, or one because three over three is one. Um, but 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 the but the slope is the rise over run. How many up? How many over? How many up? How many over? So. The, the, the slope of that line is, is uh, 3 to 3. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe to it. Um, if you like it, please like it. Just let YouTube know that this is a good quality video that helps people. Uh, and again, uh, wishing you GED success in 2018.